Welcome to OsteoStrong. <laughs> <laughs> the OsteoStrong system is simply amazing because the way that the system works is that it under high levels of force, multiples of your body weight that exceed four times your body weight, you can trigger the development of healthy new tissue in your bones, ligaments, tendons, and muscles, okay? And a research study was published back in 2015 where they wanted to find out what was the threshold or the minimum dose response needed to trigger mainly bone density growth. There's, it's, it, it's a two to three hundred billion dollar a year problem around the world with people spinning on osteoporosis, broken bones, and these kind of things. So there's a big need to figure out how to make bones stronger. And what they found in this study is if the people in the study did not hit at least 4.2 multiples of their own body weight, they could not trigger the growth of healthy new bone tissue. And it was interesting that even if people hit like 3.9 or 3.8, regardless of frequency, nothing happened. It was like the magic number. It was like the boiling point of water. If you didn't hit it, nothing happened. Which was interesting because for over 100 years, it's been believed the way you, you increase bone density is just with pressure, and any amount of pressure was good. A little bit of pressure does a little bit of good. A lot of pressure does a lot of good. And doctors and so forth and practitioners would recommend their patients do walking or jogging or weight training. But no one was ever hitting thresholds sufficient enough to build bone density. As a result, you even see athletes, weight trainers and um, and triathletes and the, and the like getting osteoporosis. The only class of athletes that consistently don't get osteoporosis are gymnasts. Because when a gymnast strikes the floor, they're gonna be doing between eight to 12 times their body weight. The problem that gymnasts experience is that when they strike the floor, it is in an uncontrolled movement and it damages their joints. Even though they have the highest bone density of any athlete consistently, they also have the highest rate of hip and knee replacements of any athlete. You would think, oh, maybe football or rugby or something like that. No, it's gymnasts. And so what we've done is we've created a system that allows people of virtually any age, virtually any body type and any fitness level to experience high impact forces without injury, okay? And so what we're seeing is there was a, a researcher, a group of researchers that wanted to find out what kind of result we were having on increasing bone density. And so what they did was they, um, they conducted a study of postmenopausal women. Now I emphasize postmenopausal women because they are the most vulnerable people in our, our population in regards to osteoporosis or weakening of the bones. They conducted a six month study and in that study, those people saw a 14.7% increase in their, measure, in their bone density or skeletal strength. So what we did, we took the results of that study and then we compared it to a study that the New England Journal of Medicine did and they did a massive study called a meta-analysis study and they went and reviewed 152 of the most reputable studies in the world that had to do with what increases bone density. And these different studies, some looked at weight training, some looked at vibration plate training, others looked at you know, supplements and walking and jogging and all this kind of stuff and also pharmaceuticals. All of them were one-year studies, all of them were on postmenopausal women and we took those results and compared them to ours. Our, the next closest thing to ours was uh, pharmaceuticals and it was like the performance was about 15% uh, of what we could do and it took them a year. We dominated the field. And so as a result, what ends up happening, and the reason why that's important for everybody, not just people concerned about the strength of their skeletal system, but as it turns out, the central nervous system will regulate the strength of your muscles and your other connective tissue based upon what your skeletal system can handle. And if you've ever done strength training and you've hit a plateau, the likely reason why you hit a plateau, and that's the point where you can't get any stronger, no matter how hard you work out, no matter what your diet is, you just hit bam, I can't go any higher. The reason why that's happening is your central nervous, is act, central nervous system is actually protecting you because it's not allowing your muscles to become stronger than what your skeletal system can handle. And so since we're strengthening the skeletal system, we're seeing massive, I mean, I mean massive increases in physical strength. And um, what we did was we decided to do a case study. We looked at 500 people with an average age of 52 over four years. 
and we measured their maximum force production. So it's important to note whenever you do a session at OsteoStrong, it will capture your maximum static force production every time you do a, stat, uh, uh, do a session. And a maximum static force production is one of the most pure forms of measuring an individual's strength because it's safe and it's, uh, it's, it's maximum. And so you're, you're really finding out the thresholds of what their musculoskeletal system can handle. We looked at that data, 500 people over four years with an average age of 52. And I emphasize that because 52 year olds aren't really getting stronger. And so we figured over four years, if the 52 year old was able to just maintain their strength for four years, we would have had a success. If we were to see uh, an increase of 10 or 20% average force production or strength increase, it would have been a complete victory. Four years, 500 people, average age of 52, saw a 290% increase in their measured force production. And considering that the pressure on professional athletes to perform these days puts them in a position where they have to take steroids, illegal steroids, to get the maximum performance because it's their livelihood, right? You can see why they would do that. I'm not here to pick on anybody, their, their choices. But even with steroids, you do not see performance increases like you do with simply strengthening your skeletal system. Now, why do we do the vibe plate? If, if this system does all that, why do we do the vibe plate before and after you come in? Well, if you were to just use the vibe plate in your regular exercise modality or whatever it is that you do, it's great. Um, and I recommend never setting your vibe plate above or power plate or whatever you use above 30 reps per whatever uh, second or whatever it is. And the reason why is if you if it vibrates any faster than that, your your muscles go into um, tetanus. They basically lock, and you're not getting any benefits. So you don't want you want your you set it at a, a frequency that your muscles can't lock. And when you work out and your muscles are firing like that, jackhammering we call that, it actually triggers more human growth hormone production. So it's great to work out on a platform, and we don't do that at OsteoStrong. And OsteoStrong session only takes you know, like seven minutes once a week and we're not here to fatigue the muscles. We're not here to do any of that. We specialize in strengthening the skeletal system. The reason why we get on the vibe plate is because you're going to be engaging in these, these exercises. The exercises only take like five to 10 seconds each. I mean, total amount of effort you do in an OsteoStrong is 30 to 40 seconds tops on a bad day. You won't break a sweat. You won't get fatigued. You won't feel sore the next day. None of that stuff. But what we do is we're trying to get your central nervous system and your muscles ready to engage the equipment properly. And so it's kind of like this. You've seen those things where people put on the magnetic bracelet, right? And they do the test. They say, put your arm out without the magnetic bracelet on and somebody will push down and you'll do this number, okay? And then they put on the, mag the magnetic bracelet and they push down it and you're able to resist harder. There's nothing to do with the magnetic bracelet. It's called neural potentiation. You've just told your nervous system, hey, I'm gonna push down on you. Your nervous system goes, huh, what, what was that? And now it knows, hey, I'm gonna do something with that muscle. It's now prepared. And now when you do it again, it's more effective. By getting on the vibe plate and moving around just for a minute or two before you do your session, it wakes up your central nervous system and gets it ready to engage the equipment for those little short five to 10 second exercises. Okay. Why do we do the vibe plate after you get off the equipment? The reason why we do that is because when you engage your muscles at a maximum force production, I can almost guarantee you that your musculoskeletal system has never experienced anything like what it experiences on this spectrum equipment. And the reason why is that when you hit a maximum threshold, in a static position with your joints not moving weight through space, that's very dangerous. But in a static position, if my joints aren't moving and I'm pushing or pulling as hard as I can for five to 10 seconds and I hit a threshold, the amount of commitment, neurological commitment in my central nervous system to get all my muscle fibers to fire at the same time is extraordinary. When you get off this equipment, you're not, you'll feel like you did something, you know, I feel like I kind of did something, but you don't feel fatigued. You didn't break a sweat. But one of the things that's going on inside your body at that moment is your central nervous system is lit up. It is ready to roll. You go on that vibe plate after you get off of this equipment, 
and you start moving moving around, just doing anything, it's push-ups or just squats or stand on one foot, do anything for a few minutes. You're just gonna start training your central nervous system to use all of your muscles more effectively. And it's one of the reasons why we see agility and balanced osteostrong increase almost immediately. I could put somebody on the plate and they could barely stay on, on a vibe plate and I could ask them to stand on one foot and they can't stand on one foot sometimes for four or five seconds, maybe 10 or 15. I could put you on this equipment and right afterwards you'll be able to stand on one foot for two or three times longer. You continue to do this and I could take somebody, unless they've got like a joint injury or a, a replaced hip or something like some other crazy thing like that, but if they're you know relatively healthy, they, they could be staying on one foot for 30 seconds after four or five sessions, where you could take somebody whose balance is very unsteady and now they're able to stay like this. Like, how'd that happen? Right. Because you are putting your central nervous system in a state that it can now be retrained and so what we'll do, if you have somebody who's a golfer or a pitcher, or if they do a repetitive sport motion, you get them on the vibe plate after they do this and you just have them practice their golf swing. And you can get one of those golf handle things as a handle that just has a weight on the end and just have them do that. Man, that will be knocking the heck out of that ball. I've had professional and semi-professional golfers that were in their 30s or 40s, who they're at the top of their game. If anything, their, their game is starting to wane, right? They come in here and after five or six sessions, they're hitting the ball 10 yards further on every club. I had the president of the PGA in Middle Tennessee say, you screwed up my golf game. And he was laughing, I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I, he, goes, I could, he goes, before I came here, I could tell you with a 10 foot radius of where that ball was gonna hit with any club. He goes, now I hit the ball and it goes 10 to 15 yards further on every club. He's like, man, I gotta adjust my game. He laughed, he goes, it's cool. He goes, I like it. And he goes, whenever we have a really strong, far ball to hit, he always says, I'm going to osteo-strong this one. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. That's how the session works.